Good afternoon, East Texas. I'm Tom Mitzoff, and this is the Telepaper.com Afternoon News Update. A family court judge in Wood County today removed four foster teenage children from John and Margie Cantrell and placed them in CPS custody. The Mineola couple's three foster children accused a group of Smith County adults of molesting them in a series of cases which became known as the Mineola Swingers Trials. The Cantrells came to court this morning to answer questions about possible abuse of their own foster children. Read the whole story here at Telepaper.com. The Justice Department says it has reached an agreement to allow Fort Worth-based American Airlines and U.S. Airways to merge, creating the world's biggest airline. The agreement requires the airlines to scale back the size of the merger. Here's more. The federal government will allow U.S. Airways and American to merge, creating the world's biggest airline and the third mega carrier in the U.S. The Justice Department had sued to block the merger, but the airlines agreed to concessions, like giving up some landing rights and gates at some of the nation's most congested airports. The government was very concerned that this merger would increase airfares for passengers. And some routes, it still will. But by giving up these slots at two key airports, lower cost airlines should be able to come in there and offer some competitive flights. And the airlines have said their deal would increase competition by creating another big competitor to United and Delta. AP airline writer Scott Meyerwitz says smaller carriers are likely to get more access to key airports. The two immediate winners in this deal are JetBlue and Southwest, which are going to get more access into New York and Washington. Beyond that, the FAA is going to try to auction off additional slots at these airports. Smaller airlines such as Allegiant and Spirit, as well as Sun Country, could benefit from this deal. A federal judge is expected to sign off on the deal. The merger could be complete in December. Sometime after that, the U.S. Airways name will begin to fade from view. Holders of frequent flyer miles on either airline can expect to see those accounts merged. Matt Friedman, Associated Press. Late night television hosts Jimmy Fallon and Jimmy Kimmel cracked a similar joke about Miley Cyrus and her infamous tongue within minutes of each other. Here's more. Late night TV might as well have the same hosts. Not only do they have the same first names, but now they spit out the same jokes. Hi, I'm Lee Sheps with Buzz 60. If you were channel surfing Monday night and put on Jimmy Kimmel on ABC, you heard him crack this one about Miley Cyrus lighting up on stage at the MTV European Music Awards. I'm just thankful she found something to keep her tongue in her mouth for a few seconds. <laughs> Fast forward an hour later to Jimmy Fallon on NBC. Most people were like, well, at least she kept her tongue in her mouth. Yep, same one-liner about Miley's infamous tongue. But the best part is that these shows are taped. So it's not like Fallon stole the joke from Kimmel. They or their writers just think alike. Fallon is slated to take over The Tonight Show from Jay Leno next year. That means both Jimmys will air at the same time. Now the competition is on over who will get their joke on the air first. Buzz 60, now you know. Pass it on. Our featured focus on Adopt Me Photo Gallery was taken by our Corey Smith and Bo Smith at the Van vs. Canton High School football game. All of the nearly 500 photos are available for purchase. Visit Focus on Adopt Me by clicking the photos link at the top of any telepaper.com page. Thanks for watching and watch for more video news updates as the afternoon progresses.